We have what, like a 1,500 tickets left. 1,500 tickets left. 1,500 tickets left. When you are not a pay-per-view attraction, your fight will not sell out. Don't nobody want to see you fight if they know the fight is not going to end with nobody getting knocked out. Since Devin Haney ain't got no power, this fight still ain't so lot yet. Just as Oscar De La 8-Ball. We have what, like a 1,500 tickets left. 1,500 tickets left and the fight is one day away. Let me repeat that. There are 1,500 tickets left for a fight that happens in one day. Devin is not a draw. I want the world to give me my credit when it's all said and done. It's from for all my years of hard work and dedication and discipline. Don't make excuses for this guy. Y'all heard this man, right? Devin Haney wants the world to give him his credit for beating Ryan Garcia on Saturday. He wants the entire planet Earth to give him credit for fighting another one of Javante Davis' leftovers. Devin Haney wants the world to give him credit for fighting a man who has never been a champion. Devin Haney wants the world to give him credit as a former undisputed champion, a current champion at 140, but he wants you to give him credit for beating a man that has never been a champion. Let that sink in. I want the world to give me my credit. I want the world to give me my credit. I want the world to give me my credit. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, fun fact, bro. You will not get credit for beating Ryan Garcia on Saturday. Just like you didn't get credit when you beat your Yokus Gamboa, Javante Tank Davis leftovers. Javante Davis knocked out Gamboa. You did it. Javante Davis knocked out Ryan Garcia. You won't, mark my words. I want the world to give me my credit. Never gonna happen. On top of that, Bill Haney, the king of all deceivers, jumped out his damn body today by doing some extra reaching about his reason for telling Devin Haney that he want him to go in there and kill Ryan Garcia. So we want him to go to the hospital. We want him fucked up, you know what I mean? We want him beat up, you know what I mean? You know, close to death. I couldn't tell y'all if Bill Haney is trying to sell this fight or if he really wants Ryan Garcia to go to the damn hospital. Why does Bill Haney have so much hate for Ryan Garcia? Why would Bill Haney want Ryan Garcia to go to the hospital? What did Ryan Garcia do to make Bill want to send the man to the hospital? Us, we want him to go to the hospital. Us, we want him to go to the hospital. We want him to go to the hospital. To the hospital, I get it. But why does Bill want to send Ryan Garcia to the hospital? There were some reporters who asked Bill Haney, what did Ryan Garcia do to make you want to wish that man a hospital bed? Check it out. He's violated every member of my family. He's violated the religion that we represent. If y'all did not catch that, I'm going to play it again. He's violated every member of my family. He's violated the religion that we represent. In typical king of all deceiver fashion, Bill Haney is claiming that Ryan Garcia violated his religion. I got a question for y'all. Type it up in the comment section. If any of y'all ever seen Ryan Garcia disrespect Devin Haney's religion, when did he do it? What was the name of the video where Ryan Garcia disrespected Devin and Bill's religion? Because I can't find it. Mark my words, if Ryan Garcia disrespected Devin Haney's religion, I would have been the first to call it out. I would have been the first to do a video on it. At no point did Ryan Garcia disrespect Bill and Devin's religion. Let me know in the comment section if he did. Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus is King, King of Kings, King of Kings. He is the King of Kings. Jesus is the one above all. Amen to that. I second that. God bless Ryan Garcia. But if that's what Bill Haney is talking about, maybe Bill Haney needs to move out the United States of America where you got a right to free speech and you are free to practice your religion. If that's what Bill Haney is talking about, the man lost his damn mind. At no point did Ryan Garcia disrespect anybody's religion. I stand on that. Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. And everybody take a look at this picture from Devin Haney yesterday at the open workout. What do y'all see? Looks like Devin Haney is punching the pads. He got a black skull cap on, white t-shirt, black joggers. There is only one problem. 
Devin Haney, in typical Devin Haney fashion, took this look from the face of the sport of boxing, Javante Tank Davis. Devin Haney ain't got no originality at all whatsoever. So when he seen this picture of Javante, he know damn well that at his open workout, he was gonna dress just like Javante Tank Davis, the man he looks up to. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Javante Tank Davis, y'all seen the man going back and forth with Shakira Twitterson, the softest boxer on the face of the earth these past couple days. Well, y'all know how Shakira Twitterson claimed that he ran first Edwin De Los Santos because he had a broken left hand, injured left hand, whatever. Well, Javante Davis posted this on Twitter today. The caption says, the hand looks okay to me. And it shows a compilation of Shakur Stevenson and the Edwin De Los Santos fight throwing that left hand over and over and over. Shakur Stevenson did not have an injury, in my opinion. It's why I catch y'all with my dead grandpa, I'm gonna boom y'all. On camera, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? In my personal opinion, I've always said it on my channel, Shakur Stevenson will forever run. From a southpaw who could actually punch. Javante Davis said, They never and put you in front of a motherfucker that could crack. When they did, what did you do? Run like a kid that you are. I will embarrass you, little nigga. Some of y'all be thinking I'm just playing when I say that Shakur Stevenson is the softest boxer in boxing today. Shakur Stevenson makes Devin Haney look like Mike Tyson. And in my personal opinion, I think that Devin Haney would beat the brakes off Shakur Stevenson. There is no boxer softer than Shakur Stevenson in today's boxing. Every single individual that hangs around Shakur Stevenson is soft as hell, I'm telling y'all. That's fuck you, motherfuckers, man. When are y'all gonna realize that Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney ain't nothing but Javante Davis' sons? Hey, be the hey, be the hey. B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy.